we're doing this again. <laughs> Do I even have to say what we're doing again? We're, we're doing this again. Hello, I'm Sophie Gone On. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel, and welcome to... How many books have I read that I own? How many of... How, how much of this have I already been through? <laughs> if you have been on this channel for a while, you would know that I have done a video like this before. That was before I got um, a little more into my book buying. Um, I think in that video I had a little over a hundred books. I do not know how many I have now, but we are going to find out. At that time as well, I didn't have a bookshelf, um, like an exposed bookshelf. I put all my books in a purple cabinet I still have in my room, but they were all in there. Or they were stacked on top of this nightstand I had. So, you know, now we're a little more sophisticated. We have not one, but two bookshelves. I'll show you the other one. But today, we're gonna find out, one, how many books I own now, because I think it's been two years, two or three years, I'm not sure. So we're gonna find out how many books I have, and two, we are going to figure out how many of those I have read. Ratio's probably not very good, but um, we're gonna find out for science purposes. First, let me, let me take you on a little bit of a tour of where all my books are located, because it's not just this shelf or my other shelf there's a few more places. All right, for this, we're whipping out the flash because you can see everything better. So, this is what you guys typically see in a video, yes? These four shelves, very nice stuff. So we have these. We've got the bottom ones over here, and we've got some ones on top. So, all of them are pretty um, full right now, kind of stuffed books in. This one is a little empty because I want to put the rest of the Aurora Rising trilogy next to her, but I haven't read them yet. We'll get to that. Very stuffed. Um, I have an Among Us figure. In here. I got this one. No, nope, stay on your little pet. Anyways, um, he's still in his package, because why not? There is that. Over here we've got whatever this is, um, the Riser trilogy and the Mirror Visitor series just fit stacking on top of each other, so they're stacked on top of each other. There's no real rhyme or reason to this bookshelf, it just is. This part, I kind of just wanted to do a nice little rainbowy thing, you know, not a rainbow obviously because it stops at yellow, but nice that, and then I got these. Ooh, got them for $12 each. Very epic stuff, but they're kind of big books, so they just get to sit there. Up here, we've got more random stuff. I have the Hunger Games trilogy over here. Um, I've got two things of manga because those are the only two I have. Um, Celeste Ng, love her. And then on the final little block, we have um, stuff I bought at Bath and Body Works. We don't have to look at that. But we also have these bad boys. These are actually like some of my favorite books. <laughs> Though, um, these, I have not read this one yet. But these two, oh my god. Um, this one, really good, even though, you know, it's written by some rando white guy, whatever. It was a good story. This one, incredible. This was a great read. Also, all of the Murakami. <laughs> then, after we finish with this shelf, there is more on top, just for distance. That's what it looks like altogether. Kind of chaotic, but, you know, gets the job done. These, though, are all of my, like, series-ish. Some of them, obviously, like, I have the Hunger Games down here, I've got these ones, um, and then down here I've got these as well, but these are mostly just, um, like, book box series. Book series sets. That's what that's called. Also, yes, I do have all four of these. My dad bought them for me. Thanks, dad. And then the Sonic ones, and I've got Lucario, and I've got Zenitsu, and I've got the Ongis from Raya. There is a lot of weird stuff here, like like this, like this. Um, love her though. I've had her since like fifth grade. Great stuff. Moving back to the books, I have this book box, the Crazy Rich Asian ones. Also, why is that upside down? I don't know. Moving on. This one is also upside down. Percy Jackson. Haven't opened it. Literally, there is still plastic on the box. Wonderful. Speaking of plastic on the box, 
also on this one. There's, I can't, I can't grab the plastic. Trust me, there's still plastic on it. Then behind the Lego Sonics that my sister made me and this cup, we have the Scythe Trilogy and the Simon Snow Trilogy. Actually, I just finished this book on audiobook. Wow, really good, liked it. Can't wait to start this one because big chunky boy. Woo! Those are the two series here that aren't in boxes that were just too big to put on the shelves. Then we've got a series of unfortunate events. This was my sister's. Um, I have it because I had the intention of reading it. Also, don't look at him. We'll get to it. I haven't touched it. And then obviously you can tell what I have read in the Mistborn trilogy. But these fine folks are far from all the books on this side of the room because if you direct your attention to what Foxy is sitting on, it's more books. Behind, behind the doll heads and the Totoro, we have more books. These were kind of just like here. Um, they're all nonfiction, so you know, I think that's why they all got put here. But we've got Barack Obama's book, we've got this Titanic book that I got in Vegas, we've got this book I got in DC, How to Be a Victorian when um, I went through my Victorian phase, also from my Victorian phase, <laughs> and then witchy books. So much fun. So that is this shelf. Very nice. Now we are going to turn and talk about her. This bookcase is a little less um, chaotic. This one is um, books I probably will never read or they're very big so they're kind of, you know, cumbersome. Like the dictionary. I'm never gonna read the dictionary or this chemistry textbook, but I have them for some reason. Those are just here on the bottom. Also, this one with the, the Mandarin is another Titanic book. Here. See, it's also in English, but the second language that they have displayed is Mandarin. So it's like a it's like a like a picture book with a bunch of artifacts. But that is that shelf. I for this video I will not be counting this shelf because what? These other two shelves up here are my TBR shelves, or the books I want to read soonest. Plus this giant version of Little Women. Um, I don't know why it's so big, but it didn't fit on this shelf, so it's up here. Is it a part of my TBR? Not really. <laughs> but it didn't fit, so it looks like it is. But just ignore her. There is a lot of different things over here. All of these books I have not read yet, so awesome sauce. Definitely not gonna help with my ratio. These ones as well. Have not read. Want to read them. Um, I did start reading this book for a class that I took last year, but we never finished it in that class, so it's also on my TBR because it was a very interesting book and I want to finish it. Then, up here, past my Among Us figure and my glasses cases, we have some classics plus the second book in the harry potter series that i still haven't returned to my cousin anyways these are all uh, barnes and noble classics because i think i went through a classics phase i really have not touched these because honestly i have no idea what like summer 2020 me was on but like <laughs> i was loving the classics i cannot do that anymore <laughs> i the I have tried. I've tried. I'm, I'm gonna pick them up eventually, but <laughs> at the moment, a little bit too much for my tiny brain to handle. 2020 me was on something else, but those are all my books. These over here, and these big guys back here. So, it's time to do the fun part. It's, um, it's time to get counting. All right. We're gonna start up here and we'll work our way down. Let's do this. Thirty-one already. 
so far. Oh my god. We've officially made it to 100. <laughs> this is the Inheritance Trilogy. This is all the three books in one. In one volume. <laughs> Since it is only one book, I think I'm just gonna count it as one. On this side, we have 128 books so far. <laughs> now, let's go that way. Like I said, I am not counting that bottom shelf. So we're just gonna do these two shelves and then the classics up on top. So, 128. Two. 162, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 169 books in here right now, but I have two more that my mom currently has. So, 171, 171. Wait, hold on. 172. My sister had this book. She used it for school. Um, 172. I need, I need to find a home for this. All right, now that we know we have 172 books in here, I should probably write that down before I forget that number. 172 books total. It is time to figure out how many of those I have actually um, put to good use. <laughs> Let's see how um, much money I've actually spent that has, um, gone towards my entertainment. My bets is that it is embarrassingly low. Here's the game plan. I have these little pink sticky notes and I'm going to rip them into thirds and stick them on every book that I have read <laughs> so I can see visually <laughs> how much of my money has gone to waste or not. Let's do that. Let's do it. You know what? That did not go as bad as I thought it would. A lot more books on this shelf have sticky notes on them than I anticipated. So not bad. Now we've got to go to the TBR shelf where, of course, there are not going to be any sticky notes. But I have read a few of those classics. So let's just, let's just go stick some sticky notes over there. Alright, so none of this has been read yet. We don't got to talk about it. But these up here, I have read some. So this one and... Picture of Dorian Gray and Can died. Down there. Come on. There we go. <laughs> that works. Those are the only three I've read. Yay. Now we gotta figure out exactly how many books that is. So for certain ones on this shelf over here, I um tried to be a little more conscientious of how many sticky notes I was using. Um and I just did like an umbrella sticky note for all of the books in the series if i finish the series so like the riser trilogy one sticky note plus geraldine's alley because i also read that so for all the becca c smith's books i have finished them and then i've got the mirror visitor series right here one sticky note for all those because i finished it and then up here i just put one sticky note for all of those haruki murakami books because yes i have read all of those um Judge me if you want, I guess, but time to get counting. All right, that did not take long at all. It is 72 books over there. 72. Already you can see that my ratio or like my percentage or whatever you want to call it is awful. But 72 over there, obviously. There's only three over here. 75. And then those two books that my mother is borrowing from me, I read both of those. So 77. 77 of the books I own, I have read. I am counting the times I read them like on audiobooks or digitally or from the library, but now I have a copy of them. Um, so like some of these books aren't even broken in yet. 
um, <laughs> because I read them elsewhere and I bought them because I want to reread them. So, 77 in total. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, so the math is simple, but let's break it down. <laughs> 77 books read of 172. That means that I have read a little less than half. I have read about 45% of the books I own, and that leaves 95 books in this room that I have not yet read. Jesus. But yes, that <laughs> that is that is the stats. Those are the stats. Now let's get to why. Why and how. So for the most part, I do read the books I own. Obviously, come on, that's why I bought them, right? Just a few weeks ago, I believe, I finished another Haruki Murakami book that I own. It was a short story collection. Kind of epic. I was reading a book I owned. But, funny thing, libraries exist. <laughs> libraries exist, and I go to one. I go to one regularly. And you know what is always on display at a library? What is my hair doing? Do you know what libraries have on display at all times? Books. And you know what is more tempting than buying books? Being able to get free books. A few weeks ago, I went to the library, I finished my work that I had to do, and I said to myself, okay, you finished your work early, good job. You get to pick out one nonfiction book, one YA book, and one adult fiction book, you know, just like a regular non-YA fiction. And I did. <laughs> I still have those books out right now, and I'm still reading them, but <laughs> libraries are tempting, man. And then there's also digital libraries that are getting more popular now. Uh, there's audiobooks. So much. <laughs> so many different places you can go to get books. Um, and I am using all of them. I just finished that uh, Wayward Son audiobook um, on the Libby app, so I did finish that book and I also own it. Once again, that is another example of me not opening the physical book, but I still like consume the story, so like it counts, but like I didn't read, like read the book. The book was not opened. The spine was not cracked but I still got through the story. Yeah, so yeah, that is that. Library books are great because they're already broken in for you. You just have to read them. You don't have to worry about like ripping the, the spine open just so you can read the page. And then I have that whole TBR shelf over there that I want to get through. Probably not the whole thing by the end of this year, depending on what happens, but through a significant amount. And the whole thing is that those are the books that I get to choose from. I finished the book I'm reading. Which one do I want to read next? Well, look over on that brown shelf. Don't touch these yet. So that's the whole concept with that thing. But yeah, those numbers were not as bad as I thought they would be. I feel like maybe the ratio was lower in that older video. I'll have to check and see. Editing me, we'll put, we'll put the results here. But hopefully that ratio is better than before because I feel like it was really bad <laughs> like 30% or something when um I did that other video hoping <laughs> hoping I'm not wrong anyways that is it those are my books those are the ones I've read already um I would do this with like a shelf reorganization kind of thing um, because typically my shelves need it but I just recently redid the books so you know they actually look nice for once can you believe it how many books have you read that you own um, just a rough estimation I don't <laughs> not forcing anyone to go and count every book they own but like looking at your shelves looking at what you own how many of those books have you read I would love to know the balance other people have. Maybe it'll make me feel a little bit better that I've read less than half. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Wow.